to my channel. This is the place where we empower you in your health and in your personal lifestyle. If it's your first time here, then I would really encourage you to click that subscribe button because I have so many beautiful videos coming out that you are going to love. Today I decided to do something a little bit different, um, something that I've never done before, um, a food that I've been thinking about cooking before but I've never actually done it and that is sushi. So we are going over to Japan, konnichiwa to all my Japanese viewers out there and around the world and to all of you thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited about um, making this food because um, I've had Japanese food at lunch, you know, I've had sushi, like teriyaki chicken, and I really like it and I've always wanted to make it. So if you're watching and you've been to Japan, or you live in Japan, or um, you like to go to Japan, if you've been to Japan, let me know which part of Japan you went to and the hot spots in Japan, the cool places to go to. Just leave it in the comment section. So um, I made some of the sushi rolls earlier. I made um, a California roll with um, tuna and um, I got to make then I made a tuna, um, just a normal tuna roll. So here's how I made the other sushi rolls. I'm also gonna show you how to roll one up right here. So you start off by getting all your bits and pieces together. So here I have my bamboo mat for rolling the sushi and spatula for stirring the rice. I got both on Amazon. Then you have the sheets of sushi seaweed, also known as nori in Japanese. You have black sesame seed. I have rice wine vinegar known as mirin in Japanese. What else do I have in my bag? Um, you're going to need some Japanese soy sauce. Some of you may be wondering if there's a difference between Japanese soy sauce and maybe Chinese. There is not much of a difference. Japanese soy sauce, also known as shoyu, has a slightly sweeter flavor and I find Chinese soy sauce has a little bit of a saltier finish. Of course, we got some sushi rice. You got to get the rice right. Rice is a big part of what I'm going to be making. This is about 500 grams, but I'm going to use just half of it. I've got some fresh salmon. For some, raw fish is not their cup of tea, so they can probably use smoked salmon instead. Definitely a great add to your healthy eating regime. Then you also have a tin of tuna in brine. The fish is a powerhouse of essential nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids, iron, vitamin A as such it's beneficial for health. Then you're going to have the vegetables to add to the sushi. So here I have um, cucumber which is low in calories and contain antioxidants and it promotes great hydration. Then there's carrots, it's crunchy, tasty and highly nutritious, particularly a good source of beta carotene and it's classified as a weight loss friendly food. Then you have spring onion, excellent source of vitamin C and calcium, good source of dietary fiber. Then you have avocado, which is a rich source of antioxidants. It has a high level of potassium and lowest cholesterol. Other ingredients you're going to need is wasabi. It's like a side condiment eaten with the sushi. Because the wasabi plant is so hard to grow, real wasabi is very rare and expensive. The price is around $160 per kilogram, which is a lot. You're also going to need sushi ginger, also known as Gary. I got to, not that there is any difference in taste, I just like the different colors. Then you're going to need the sriracha sauce. This is a type of hot sauce or chili sauce made from a paste or chili peppers. Then you're gonna need some mayonnaise and two tablespoons of sugar one tablespoon of salt. Okay, to start cooking, um, you start off by putting 250 grams of rice into a bowl. In my case, I put it in the pot and wash the rice with cold water about three or four times and rinse it out um, with a sieve. I then added 330 milligrams of water into the washed rice, bring it to boil and then simmer for 10 minutes with the lid on. Turn off the heat and leave it to stand for 25 to 30 minutes. Do not open the lid. This will allow the rice to continue cooking right through. Okay, then we're going to how to make the sushi rice seasoning. Mix three tablespoons of the rice vinegar, mirin, two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of salt. You put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to allow the sugar and salt to dissolve. You then put the cooked rice into a bowl the rice would have cooled down by now. Pour the rice vinegar mixed with salt and sugar into the rice. This was slightly heated in the microwave earlier. 
then gently fold the rice with the spatula until the seasoning is mixed in well. Cover it with a towel and leave it while preparing the fillings. With the cucumber, remove the seed inside it as it contains a lot of water content. You then cut the carrots, avocado and cucumber into thin stripes. The tuna filling, drain the water, add about two to three teaspoons of mayonnaise, then add the sriracha sauce. I like it spicy so add more for that little kick. Then you add the thinly chopped spring onions and mix. You then cut the salmon into strips and that's everything together ready to start rolling. So before you start rolling, make sure you have a sharp knife, a damp towel to wipe your knife and a small bowl of warm water. So here I have my bamboo mat. Then I get the nori, which is the seaweed. You can see there is a soft side and rough side. Place it rough side up to place your rice on. You wet your fingers to avoid sticking to the rice. Take some of the cooked rice and spread it on the nori. Spread it out until it's not lumpy and no gaps in the rice. Add your filling. In this case, we are going to do the sriracha tuna first. You spread a thin row of the tuna, add the strip of cucumber, about two, and carrots, the same. Then roll the sushi. The most important thing about the rolling of the sushi is ensuring you press what you have rolled together like this. At the end, just dab a little water at the end of the nori to seal it. You then take the knife, cut the roll in half. Always wipe the knife after cutting. I'm going to cut this into six pieces. And that's it. It looks lovely. All done, beautiful. And then I'm going to make a California roll. It's a little different in that the rice is on the outside and nori in the inside with fillings. It's pretty simple to do. First of all, you put the rice as the previous roll, pour some black sesame seed on it. Then you flip the roll over, then add the filling and roll. Cut and that's it. I must say that was a job well done. I'm so proud of myself. Yay! So you've seen how I've made the others. So I'm gonna be showing you how um, to do one right here. So I'm gonna just do one right here with you as you're watching. The first thing you need to have, you need to have some water um, with you because the rice gets pretty sticky. I've already kind of used um, a quarter of the rice. So I've just got a little bit left. Um, and then also your knife, just make sure your knife is clean and have a damp cloth with you, which I've already said in the video, but I'm just showing you again. And then I have um, my salmon here. And then I have the tuna that I used earlier. Then I've got the vegetables. Um, so I've got the carrots, I've got the um, cucumber, and then my avocado. So the color is kind of changing because of the air that's had contact with it. So, all right, so um, I've also got my nori, which is the seaweed wrap, right? Which is the wrap, which is the wrap, seaweed wrap, wrapping wrap, wrapping wrap, seaweed wrap. Okay, make sure you get one because I just, because I, I picked up two accidentally, so just make sure you pick one up. Um, and then just like how I said in the video, make sure that the, um, the wrap is, um, the nori is facing rough way up, not the smooth part, rougher up. I'm not doing a California roll, I'm doing just a normal sushi roll. So just put it like that. This is the rough section, the rough side. What am I saying today? Rough side. Side that is rough. Yes. So, um, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm just feeling kind of thirsty. Like, I'm feeling thirsty. Making this sushi can help you burn some calories. So, I'm just having Japanese green tea. Anyone ever had Japanese green tea? Interesting. I don't know if I like this. Ooh. Okay. That's Japanese.
Japanese green tea <laughs> over here. It's gonna stay over here. Okay, all right, so let me do the roll. You just wet your hands. Make sure you wet your hands because um, the rice gets pretty sticky. And then um, what I like about Japanese food is actually one of the healthiest diets in the world. Um, one of the top healthy diets. So just get the, um, the rice and just spread it thinly across because it get really it gets really sticky in your fingers so just spread it you can see what I'm doing what really brings the flavor of the rice is the is the rice vinegar and um, sugar and um, salt which is really nice so I'm not gonna put a lot of rice in it um, so I'm going to spread that out. See, my fingers, the rice are really sticking to my fingers. So just get a little bit more water. Don't get too much because you don't want to soak your sushi with lots of water. Um, you don't want to soak your rice with lots of water. So you just. So yeah, as so I was saying that um, Japanese food is really healthy. So if you are thinking about incorporating healthy meals into your diet so um have a look at japanese food um they've got some really nice healthy meals that you can incorporate this bit takes a little longer all right i'm not gonna put that nice rice this rice is so nice i can lick, i can eat it by itself okay all right can you see my this is what it is and i got this mat from amazon so that's how it is I want to put a little bit more on this side. I got this mat from Amazon. Um, it was like five pounds. I got the mat and I got the spoon, little mini little spoon with it as well. Um, add. I did one with the fresh salmon. So I'm gonna add the smoked salmon on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna add the smoked salmon. This one. So just lay it across like this. Can you see it? Um, avocado. avocado and i'm gonna get the cucumber put the cucumber there and the carrots all of them have the rest of the food all right so this is the bit where we're gonna start rolling so you just push the mat against i think i already showed you this but i'm just doing it now so i'll just push it so there it is that's my sushi roll. Neat, right? Look, so impressed. Look, ooh, look, ooh, nice. Get my knife, just wet it a little bit. I just wet it a little bit, and then I'm gonna just wipe it. I'm gonna just cut the edges off. Bit off. Avocado. Don't waste it. And then cut it in half. Gotta cut it in half first. Oh, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to wipe my knife every time I cut. And again, I've become like a sushi expert. This is nice. Wipe it and cut it one more time. On the other side. Gonna have a really sharp knife to do this you um so that's my sushi can you see it there it is there it is done this is what it is this is what it looks like this is it i'm gonna put everything away then i'm gonna enjoy my sushi Okay. <laughs> oh my god, after all that, I just feel like I've burnt so much calories just trying to organize myself to eat this food. Okay, so I've shown you everything that I made. Um it's it's been a journey. It has. 
it has been a journey but it's well worth it so i'm gonna taste it out i'm going to have um yes i'm gonna eat the sushi <laughs> I'm gonna eat it now. Okay, so I, I the pan is not necessary that I eat it with my with the with the, with the chopsticks. So um, I'm gonna just use my hand. To be honest with you, I've, I've I'm not I'm not really in the mood to use chopsticks today. All right, so let's try the this is the um this is the tuna with the sriracha sauce and some a little bit of mayonnaise and the carrots and cucumber. So just dip it in the Soy sauce. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really nice. That's like really packed. That's so filling. Mm. That's nice. Mm. It's really filling. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go for the smoked salmon. I forgot to put some wasabi on, so I'm gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna dip it into the. Wasabi. Just a little bit because this thing kicks. It's spicy. And I'm going to put it in the sauce. Mmm. Wasabi. Mm. That's nice. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. Mm. Make sure you always keep yourself hydrated. Lots of water, lots of water, lots of water. Okay. All right, let's go for the the salmon. It's not smoked. Um, some of you don't like eating raw fish. This might not be up your street, but if you do, then this is up your street. Um, okay, let's a little bit of wasabi because it's gonna. Wasabi. Mmm. 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 Oh my God. I did a good job. It was so nice. Very nice. Wow. Pretty impressed. So, you're welcome to join me. Okay, I'm going to have one more because I am pretty full. I know that you're probably thinking she's only had like two, but when I, you know, but when you find yourself making the food, you kind of taste here, you taste there, you taste here, before you know it, you're kind of full. So I'm going to save the rest for my lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to have the tuna, it's a tuna roll, a bit of the wasabi. Cause these are quite big. Look how, I mean, look how, look how massive I made these. These were like giant, giant sushi rolls. Wasabi. That's how much I put. I didn't put that much wasabi there. And then the. Hmm.
Thumbs up. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. Mm. So if it's your first time here, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me make the sushi. I really enjoyed it. It's really nice. It's very tasty. And to be honest with you, I think I'm going to start making my own sushi instead of buying it because this sushi is on point. So if you want to try it at home, let me know how it went. Um, what fish did you use or what ingredients, what fillings did you use? In your sushi um if it's your first time here don't forget to click the um subscribe button and also the notification bell because i have a lot more videos coming out and i want you to be the first to get notification that it is out um yeah till next time bye